his fluid swing and calm demeanor earned him the nickname, The Big Easy. Ever since his early days growing up in South Africa, Ernie Els was a force with a club in his hands. Coming from South Africa, my dream was to win majors and to try and do what Gary Player did, you know, win the Grand Slam, win a bunch of golf tournaments and trying to get onto the US tour and, you know, things like that. Since the first time we played together when we were 14, uh, been sort of rivals, you know, he was always the guy to beat. He had a big influence on juniors of, of my generation because he was so good at such a young age. He's still carrying the flag for South African golf right now. But it was his competitive nature as a player emerging in the mid-90s that helped prompt the creation of the President's Cup. He's great value when we play on the President's Cup team. He's played on nearly every President's Cup team. The South African has missed only two of the 10 President's Cups contested and has played in every session during those years holding the international team record with 20 points. I have so many memories of playing with him in President's Cups and lucky to be his partner there and, <laughs> and ride on his coattails. Elected into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 2011, his career has now spanned over three decades. One of the PGA Tour's elite, he's amassed 19 wins, 54 top three finishes, and captured four majors. His last coming with a miraculous finish at the 2012 Open Championship. He's been a terrific player for a long time. He's been a global player and he's really promoted the game of golf throughout the world. See his success in Europe, see his success here in the United States. It's just a, an impressive career. At the 2003 President's Cup in South Africa, the courageous competitor carried his nation's hopes on his broad shoulders in the first ever sudden death playoff. What a gut check by Els. I wouldn't expect anything else from Els. After matching pars on the first two holes against Tiger Woods head-to-head -head in the waning light, Woods sank a clutch 15-foot par putt. With the pressure of South Africa and the world squarely on his shoulders, their native son responded. Yeah! That's as it should be. Ending the contest in a tie to share the cup. At age 44, Els is still in world-class form and can match resumes with anyone. His President's Cup experience and leadership will be a great addition for Captain Nick Price's squad in October. He's got some great plans for the President's Cup and he's really starting to, to bond the team together. I don't want to get too early to speaking positively here, but I think we're going to do better than we've done in the past.